keyboard here with a review of a piece of gear that I wish I had taken with me on the Appalachian Trail through hike. Piece of gear is called the Packa. There has been a constant debate over rainwear for backpacking and especially through hiking long distance trails. I would agree with most of those that say you're going to wet out anyway, either sweat from the inside of the jacket or wetness from the outside seeping through because nothing's truly waterproof. And that rain gear is more towards being warm or a layering system than actually staying dry. Now that I personally experienced it, I would have to agree that it is true you are ultimately probably going to wet out. I learned this during the trek through the Shenandoah National Park where it rained constantly and we were just totally drenched. I went with the Marmot Precip and I've got nothing bad to say about the Precip. I'll still use it on day hikes. I'll still use it in the rain. It doesn't wet out all that quick. With the pit zips, you can ultimately try and regulate heat and temperature. What I found difficult was the fact that with the pack on, it also becomes cumbersome to constantly take on and off the pack anytime you want to take on or off the marmot preset. Ultimately, after the Shenandoahs, I decided I wanted to try and make a change and do some other things. It's in Harper's Ferry in a hiker's box at the Outfitters there, I came across the dry duck poncho. So through most of Pennsylvania, I wore that dry duct and became a believer in the poncho. But some of the bad parts about the poncho are that it's hard to put it on and off over the pack and trying to get it without help from a friend to get it to ride down and back properly. I was constantly tugging at it. In windy conditions, blow around. I never did want to put the belt, a belt around it because that was defeating the purpose of letting the air flow underneath. So the poncho itself has its own problems. Ultimately, I got rid of the dry duct as we entered into New Hampshire because a true hiker was without rainwear totally, and she had nothing. I ended up passing on the dry duck, which honestly by that time had some holes in it, some tears in it. It was on its last leg, but it was good enough to get her through the rest of her hike. And I had the marmot precip, so I finished New Hampshire and Maine in the precip. So then I came on home, and I got ready to backpack, and I thought about what is it that I want to do with rainwear when I'm just out for a weekend or a week-long hike? I went back to wanting the packa that I had researched before the trip, but never wanted to spend the money. And I thought, well, I'm going to stick with the precip. Knowing now what I didn't know then, I would have gone ahead and bought the packa. So as a Christmas present, in came the packa. No issues ordering it, no problems getting it in. The Packa by Cedar Tree. I went with the size medium, which is their universal size for anybody six foot or under. It packs up just as nice as the Marmot Precip. I'll give a side-by-side -side comparison. The pack is a little bit thinner, but a little bit longer. Not that big a difference. It does go into its own pocket, just like the Marmot Precip. Unzipping it, it comes out of the pocket. And the pocket has that typical double zipper so you can zip it in. The way the pack actually works and Sugar Emery has a video on it, and the Cedar Tree website has a video on it. But to show how it works, it starts off as a backpack cover. And this was one of the things on the trail we also learned, and that is that all of these pack covers 
much like the rainware itself, will wet through and your pack's going to get wet anyway. The packs are made so that they push out and resist water, some more so than others, of course, the Z packs, but all of them sooner or later have their entry points where water can get in. So again, everybody lines their pack with common grocery bags, and that's a, a, a smart way to handle this. However, most people did not want to carry a whole sopping wet bag, and so pack covers were commonly seen and used on the trail, including some people with the Z-Packs. They still went out and bought a cheap pack cover to try and keep the moisture down in some cases. However, those all wet through, and I really think this is better material, thicker material, than some of the ultralight packs, yet lighter than some of the other backpack covers that are out there. And so it's, it's a nice 30D material that will do a good job holding out water and probably will do a better job than the pack cover I had on there. But what happens is you go ahead and you put this pack cover on just like any other pack cover. Has a little drawstring here. Okay. There it is, all tight on the bag. Slide the bag on, just like normal. Warm enough, just keep myself like this, and it's doing its job as a pack cover. actually a little bit thicker pack cover drops so this is the way to go now then if it really starts to downpour and you want the jacket part out you reach behind don't have to take the pack off reach behind and work the jacket out quite nice. Has cinches for the sleeves. It gets way up. And there's the hood. Has a back cinch. Just like a marmot precip. Matter of fact, it's almost just like the marmot precip. Then you just zip it up like a regular jacket. It has a two zipper. It has a two zipper unit. So you have to make sure you get them both in. There's the one. It's got toggles here as well that you can pull on. And cinch around your head. There's a little Velcro right here. Boy, that's keeping the water out. And then you're completely surrounded. No water is getting in between your back. No water on the shoulder pads, no water on the hip belt. I used to end up with stuff in my hip pockets getting soaked. And uh, I hated that. 
sometimes it was a hat or gloves and you really needed to you forget they were there and then you you need them warm it's too hot of course you can always zip down zip the hat off and then here's something i really like is that you can unzip it from the bottom that's why the double zippers there so you can increase ventilation below your legs and keep it out how tight you want it on the waist is dependent upon how tight you cinch these and then you can cinch these up to to be real tight to block air and make sure that everything stays tight around your waist fold over to make sure the zipper stays under under wraps it's all seam sealed and here's the thing I really like about it that I discovered and that is that there are pit zips just like on the Marmot preset on both sides they're actually easier to work than the pit zip Woo! I can feel the air coming in oh wow Really a lot. Whew. I really like it. Oh, unbelievable. 30D denier nylon. If you decide to take it off completely. Takes a little bit of work, but it is able to get it off. And I would imagine you can tuck it back up in there or just let it hang for the next rainstorm before you take it off and pack it in. So the pack is definitely a piece of gear that I probably would have enjoyed on my through hike and it truly does answer a lot of the issues with rain gear and pack covers the pack up. Okay, taking it off to package it back away. Zip it back up. A pack up by Cedar Tree. And it goes in this outer pocket. Very nice. Very cool. A pack up by Cedar Tree. Hope you enjoy the review.